All right, guys, today we're working on a 2007 Subaru Legacy. Uh, this has got the uh, 2.5 liter. And this pertains to really any 2.5s from, I believe, 2005 to 2012. We're going to be talking about the P0028 code. All right, so this right here is the code that I'm referencing, which is the left oil switching valve solenoid valve malfunction, the P0028. All right, so now with the car off, you've got your VVT solenoid, which is going to be that right there. And then that's going to be your oil, your oil pressure switch. So you can test the VVT solenoid here. I went ahead and just replaced it. They're pretty easy to replace. All you've got to do is um, you're going to pull this connector off down here. There's one bolt. You can pop this bracket off. And uh, there's one bolt. You can kind of see it right down through there. And just pop it out. Um, went ahead and just replaced it for safety measure but that still did not fix my issue so the next thing that i'm going to check is going to be this oil pressure switching valve which is going to be or the oil pressure switch which is going to be this right here this single wire connector so to test it all you're going to need is going to be a multimeter you're going to switch it down because you're going to have to ohm it out so to test this switch down here, you've got to reach down and you're going to unplug the one wire connector right here. Just kind of tuck that one out of the way. And then you're going to use a multimeter and just ohm it out. I've just got my ground stuck right in there and you can test it just on top of the intake manifold just like that to make sure that you're getting a good ground. And then what you're gonna do is you wanna touch the pin right down here inside of this connector. And now this is supposed to be a normally closed switch, meaning that when I'm touching that pin right down in there, I should be getting some sort of resistance. I should be getting something instead of just an out of limits. So that right there tells me that uh, that sensor is bad or that switch is bad. So I went ahead and got one ordered and uh, we're gonna replace it right now.